The personal impact of Attorney General Jeff Sessions' order to roll back Obama-era directives that protected states that have legalized marijuana from federal intervention. I mean, does she look like a criminal to you? <laughs> yeah. That's that's my thing with I, I I just I'm like this this is who you know cannabis is helping right here this little girl has changed her life what do you think not too long ago I spoke with Vicky Pletka from her new home in Colorado for years CBS 58 News has followed her family and their struggle to save Lily who suffers from a severe form of epilepsy three years ago they were forced to move from Wisconsin to get the CBD oil that Lily needed and she's thriving and speaking something she never did when in Milwaukee now a sense of panic the federal prosecutors will come in and destroy everything they gave up their life in Wisconsin for. Well, what are you hearing from other families who are in your situation? Do we do we stockpile this? Do we, you know, what do we do? What do, you know, we're all trying to figure out how can we save our kids? How can we save our families? You know, um, there are so many children and so many adults that are just like Lily that literally came to Colorado dying, <laughs> and this was their only hope. Vicki says she has received support and assurances from government officials in Colorado, but her calls to the White House have gone to voicemail. But she does have a message for President Trump, and you'll see and hear it coming up on the CBS 58 News at 5. One mother's heartfelt message to the president. Michelle. In a word, Bill, why? Vicki Pleka and other families who use marijuana for medical reasons thought they had escaped when they fled Wisconsin. Now they feel like they're being characterized as criminals all over again. This was their only hope. We're all panicking because, I mean, as a mom, wouldn't you do anything in your power to save your child? Vicki Pleka speaking with CBS 58 News from Colorado, where she's now considering stockpiling the CBD oil that has saved her daughter Lily from life-threatening seizures. They've gone to extremes before moving out of Wisconsin to find a state that legally gave access to those who need marijuana. Now they're wondering if under a new directive from the attorney general, everything they've worked for will be shattered. I mean, does she look like a criminal to you? Yeah, that's that's my thing with I, I I just I'm like this this is who you know cannabis is helping right here this little girl has changed her life what do you think Vicky's talking about staging protests local representatives say they have her back but when she calls the White House she just gets voicemail for a family that feels as if it's cheated death now a sense of betrayal on what the candidate said and what has happened with his administration as president. You know, President Trump has been known to fire staffers before. Do you want him to fire Jeff Sessions? I think he should fire him. I think that just going through and ordering this and going against states, especially because Trump has said himself many times, you know, that it should be left up to the states. But Sessions says it's about enforcing federal law, and he equates cannabis with heroin. Vicki tells me seeing her daughter thrive, talk for the first time in her life with the CBD oil, she knows it just isn't a fair comparison.